Special characters have always been a part of the Animal Crossing series. They come around during fun events or appear randomly on your island to give you limited items that aren't attainable on a normal day. For me, these special characters bring nostalgia and the memory of excitement when randomly happening upon one in my town. With New Horizons, you're guaranteed one every day, so the randomness isn't quite what it used to be, but the feeling of finding Red or Gullivar comes pretty close to the same feeling I had when I found Crazy Grace's dirty car running around my original Animal Crossing town. Special characters bring new activities for us to do and keep the game fresh and constantly changing. We've seen this happen recently with the Halloween update. We spent 31 days buying candy, growing pumpkins, finding costumes, and shooting down balloons to collect all the spooky recipes. Personally, it refreshed the game for me for a bit and added new tasks to do with my usual dailies. And the pumpkins are <laughs> really pretty with their HD goodness. While we have seen some special characters return, we're still missing a few. And by a few, I mean a bunch. Besides the normal ones that show up every two weeks and the ones that reside on our island every day, we've only seen a few special event characters. We've gotten the event hosts like Zipper, Jack, and the upcoming Franklin and Jingle, as well as a cameo by Rover and a little special holiday for Reese and Cyrus. But who has yet to return? And what could their role be in New Horizons? There's too many to go through. Some had their jobs taken over, like Joan, Chip, Nat, and Harriet from Shampoodle, who is worthless now that we have mirrors. Who knew we could have done our hair ourselves this whole time? I lightly touched on special characters in the What's Missing video I did a few weeks ago, but I want to dive deeper into these characters and think of ways that the developers could possibly throw them into the game. First is the lovable Captain. Captain has been around since the beginning of the series. He's usually the transportation guy. You want to go to a tropical island, a city, or a, another tropical island? Captain was your guy. This playa frequently sang songs about women and his life on the sea. What a life. Jeez, man. In the original Animal Crossing, he was a secret character that could only be unlocked if the player had a Game Boy Advance and the cable connecting the handheld device to the GameCube. He brought you to a tropical island where you could catch exclusive bugs, collect new fruit, and own a bungalow. I could see Captain coming back in a similar manner to this. I'm already struggling to figure out how I want to design my house, so a second one probably isn't at the top of my wish list, especially with the ability to just make another character and throw a new house on my island. But a second smaller island with new creatures new items to collect, I'm all for it. The only tropical fruit we currently have in New Horizons is coconuts. The bananas are missing, as are the extra fruit available in New Leaf and even Pocket Camp that grow on the regular hardwood trees. I miss Captain and his shanties. I think he would be a great way to get to a new place that's different than the mystery islands we have now. I'm shocked that we have yet to see new fruit. It makes me think that the developers were planning on using the first year for all the holiday updates and maybe year two is for the extra fun, like the new fruit and non-holiday special characters. Gracie Grace, I miss the furniture. I made it a point to try to buy every piece of her collection in City Folk to make my house as big of a flex as possible. Her clothes were wonderful, her furniture was on point, ugh, I miss it. I could see Gracie Grace or her store being added to an upgraded version of Nook's Cranny that really hasn't returned to New Horizons. We've gotten one update, but I'm used to like four. More, I want more. Maybe this would be considered after we've gone full circle and experienced an entire year. Every season presents the player with new furniture that matches the time of year that you're currently experiencing. Since we have yet to experience winter, or for the southern hemisphere, fully experience summer, we may have to wait a bit longer to earn the honor of Gracie Grace's presence and her new furniture, hopefully. <laughs> Tortimer, he's probably retired, or uh, as many fans think because of the gravestone that was shown off in a trailer, dead. His role in New Leaf was extremely limited since the player was the mayor and he retired to his own tropical island. I still see him as like the dorky grandpa face of Animal Crossing. New Horizons really doesn't feel complete without him. Maybe he's the owner of the island Captain will bring us to. Reprise his role in New Leaf and still keep his presence known in the game. I will say, I'm slightly upset that Cordimer didn't make an appearance this fall. How could you let a character like that slide away? Tisk tisk. Pelly, Phyllis, and Pete. Where did that love triangle go? I know they've technically been replaced by an inanimate object like Harriet, but their presence was wholesome. Personally, they were crucial for making my towns feel well-rounded, small, and homey. Now we have a wooden card holder and an Orville that can barely reach the keyboard. 
it's a miracle that our letters actually reach our friends. I don't see these three being added as permanent characters, like how I want to see Captain or Gracie Grace. I expect them to show up like how Rover did during Mayday and have a cameo appearance somewhere. I would like to see something a little further, like a recent Cyrus appearance. Seeing them multiple days would roll that nostalgia train right into the station. Maybe there's an international mail holiday that I don't know about. <laughs> Cooper and Booker. Another set of special characters that probably won't fully return to the game, but have incredibly nostalgic memories attached to them. The last and found has turned into a recycling bin, Isabel now tells you what's happening around the island for the day, and Orville takes care of your traveling needs to Friends Islands. Besides appearing on covers of KK songs, these two are nowhere to be seen. I suppose we don't really need a police station on a deserted island? Maybe they could protect us from the uh, tarantulas and scorpions. <laughs> I could see them being a part of some random event in the future, enough to get them into the game without having to think too much about their role in the long term. Just a quick, oh god they're here, and that's it. And yes, I purposely left Brewster out for reasons that maybe hopefully we'll find out soon. I'm excited for the future of special events and holidays. I love living the nostalgia through modern games. They take me back and allow me to re-experience the awe I felt the first time I played the games of my childhood. We know certain special characters are returning, like Franklin, Jingle, and Pave. But other than that, Nintendo has given us nothing in the way of what to expect for future updates. What would you like to see from developers? Which special character do you want to return? Let me know in the comments below, and I'll see you next time. Bye!